Hello and welcome to Keys TV News at the Salford Media Festival. I'm Tiffany Sweeney. Today is the second day of the Salford Media Festival where professionals will have the chance to attend workshops and seminars about current media issues. Don't forget to tweet your thoughts on the festival using the hashtag SMF13. The festival is celebrating 20 years as one of the UK's leading media industry events and was previously known as Nations and Regions. But first, with today's headlines, I'm joined in the studio by Antonia Hunter. Thank you, Tiffany. A man from Lower Broughton has been announced as missing. He was last seen on Monday afternoon. He is 69 years old and 5 foot 4 inches tall. Contact Greater Manchester Police for more information. Salford Media Festival is being hosted by the University of Salford for the first time this year. This week, industry professionals will be giving speeches and teaching masterclasses. This year, there is a large emphasis on helping the next generation of media students. Crowds gathered at Media City UK on Saturday as hacktivist group Anonymous protested against the BBC. They claim their protests aren't covered significantly enough by the mainstream media and believe the BBC to be corrupt. A BBC spokesperson said they are satisfied that on the whole their coverage is fair, balanced and impartial. Metrolink bosses have said the trams don't like ice. There have been a number of delays since the drop in temperature which is thought to be due to ice on the overhead cables. This has caused a lot of concern among commuters who are worried the network will become unreliable over the coming winter. I'll be back later with more headlines. Back to you, Tiffany. Thanks, Antonia. It definitely is getting colder and colder. The second day of the Salford Media Festival is upon us and Lucinda Parker went down to see the delegates arrive. People arriving for the second day of the Salford Media Festival had the chance to go to sessions and meet Brian TV to talk about the growth of television and the future. Joining me in the studio is Steve Hewlett, the conference chair at the festival. Thanks for joining me, Steve. You're welcome. So how was it this morning opening the festival? Well, you have to, I've been coming to this and its forerunners for a long time now. This is the 20th year of this event. It started as the what was called the, as TV in the nations and regions, which seems a rather quaint now. And I can remember David Plowright, who was the chairman of Granada Television at the time, now sadly deceased, uh, hosting the event and... Showing, taking all the delegates to show them around Coronation Street set, you know, and all the rest of it. But this was an age away. Uh, in, in a, it was actually before we had multi-channel television, before we had, uh, certainly before the digital revolution was even born or thought of, to be honest, by most people. Then we decided it should be changed. So it evolved into the Nations and Regions Media Conference. And now it's the kind of Salford Media Festival. And I suppose what it made me think, you know, is that if you'd said 20 years ago that there would be a new, vibrant, creative hub somewhere in the north of England... Right, and it's going to rival London, and it's going to become globally recognised as a centre for digital media, and it's going to be in Salford. People would have fallen off their chairs laughing, honestly. It would, it would have been utterly incredible to have suggested it. But, of course, here we are sitting in the middle of it, and, you know, it hasn't happened yet, but quite a lot of the big things, the plumbing, if you like, that has to happen to give it a chance, that's been done. So, you know, I think what we're sitting on here now is a real tangible opportunity. And what do you think of the students here? The students? Yeah. Well, like students everywhere. <laughs> but what do you think of the ones Moochers. The They're all moochers. <laughs> I've got three sons, one of whom has just finished at university, and he's definitely a moocher. Actually, he went to Manchester. No, look, I, I, look, I think, you know, one of the, in all seriousness, one of the interesting things about the digital revolution is that the barriers to entry in terms of media are lower. I mean, everybody, most young people now who, who have access to mobiles, laptops, computers, whether it's at school or at home, wherever it is, most of them are, you know, are pretty media literate. Most of them can shoot stuff. Most of them can edit stuff. I mean, it might be Instagram or iPhone or however, or, you know, whatever. It's not, I'm not suggesting it's kind of what used to pass for professional standards, but the point is you know, everyone can do it. And it's really interesting. I did a thing on the media show on Radio 4, uh, interviewed the guys who run that uh, YouTube site called Jack's Gap, the two twins, Jack and, Jack and Finn Harris. Uh, only 20, uh, both went to university, dropped out to carry on making their fortunes with their YouTube channel. What was really interesting was they didn't talk about audience, they talked about community. That, you know, their, their videos are routinely watched by three or four million people all over the world, right, with whom 
they feel they have some kind of sense of, of, of communal, communal interest. And it's a really, really interesting shift. So I think for students today looking at media, not necessarily in terms of a career in media, because every business is now a media business. You, know, you, can't, be, you can't be a local a local builder's merchant without being online. I mean, it's not like there are businesses that can sort of duck the media revolution. You kind of, you can't. But I think the opportunities for self-expression and creativity, I think now are unrivaled. It's the most exciting time. Definitely. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Coming up this afternoon at the Salford Media Festival. At 11.15, guests will have a talk with ITV professionals, as well as talking about local TV. Then at 12.30, there is a session about broadcasting in independent Scotland. Finally, it's networking and lunch at 1.30pm. With a massive range of sessions and workshops, we caught up with the man in charge of content. Um, we, we've got a great festival in prospect over the next four days. Uh, we start tomorrow with uh, two delegate days, as we're calling them, that are absolutely packed full of um, experts from across the media, uh, structured in, in 17 uh, parallel sessions and three keynote sessions. We're going to explore everything from um, the development of local television through to current issues in drama, radio, uh, future issues in scheduling um, and transmedia. Uh, we have um, a political focus on the future of media in independent Scotland with Fiona Hislop, Scottish Media uh, Secretary, Scottish Culture Secretary. We have a, a great keynote and prospect from Josh Weinstein, writer of The Simpsons, and we've got a fantastic retrospective uh, from Stuart Cosgrove on the key moments in the evolution of uh, media in, in the nations and regions over the last 20 years. The, the, the delegates can come along and sample uh, a whole range of sessions uh, focusing on what's important in our media sector today. Um, they can come along and hear what our experts have to say. They can engage with them through answering uh, asking questions, they, they can, uh, outside of the sessions, network with each other, which is a key feature of the event. People come from far and wide who are passionate about the media business. They come along to talk to each other, to network with each other, to debate with each other, to grow and learn with each other and from each other about a whole range of issues in, that, are, that are pertinent to the development of the media going forward. We're celebrating 20 years of the event, and I think it's particularly uh, appropriate that um, we're doing so here at Salford at Media City, which has become a major uh, hub for the media and culture, uh, cultures, cultural sectors in the United Kingdom. We're absolutely delighted that at the festival this year we've got uh, uh, two full days of uh, activity associated with uh, developing the next generation of media talent in, in the United Kingdom. A lot of you have been taking to Twitter to talk about the media festival using hashtag SMF13. At I Love MC UK tweeted saying shouting out from Salford to the world, hashtag Salford shines. They also said the cream of media education. And at Prolific North said Salford Media Festival on again. Plus we take a look at what you thought of yesterday's event, hashtag SMF13. Don't forget you can keep in touch with us via email at keysnews.net, on Twitter at keysnews and don't forget that all important hashtag SMF13 for the Media Festival. That's all from us today, we'll be back later for more updates. Thanks for watching, goodbye. Yeah.